Good morning all. I am Poonam Swapnil Jadhav, working as Assistant Professor in Department of Computer Engineering, AISSMS IOIT Pune. Today we are going to see the comparison between the waterfall model and the agile methodology in the software engineering course. Now what is waterfall methodology? Waterfall methodology is known as a linear sequential life cycle model. It follows the sequential order and so the project development team only moves to the next phase of development or testing if the previous step is completed successfully. Whereas in agile methodology, it is a practice that helps the continuous iteration of development and testing in the software development process. In this model, the development and testing activities are concurrent not like that of waterfall model. This process allows more communication between the customers, developers, managers, and testers. The advantages of the waterfall model are it is one of the easiest model to manage because of its nature, each phase has specific deliverables and a review process. It works for small size projects where the requirements are easily understandable. Faster delivery of the project because the projects are small and the requirements are well understood. The process and the results are well documented. It is easily adaptable method for shifting the teams. This project management methodology is beneficial to manage the dependencies. Now the advantage of the agile method, it is focused on the client process so it makes sure that the client is continuously involved during the every stage. Agile team are extremely motivated and self-organized so it likely to provide a better result from the development project. It assures the quality of the development is maintained it is based on the incremental process. The client and the team know exactly what is complete, which what part is not complete, what are the risks involved in the development, the software architecture, the user interface and the components, all parts are discussed with the client and the review or the incremental progress notifications are given to the client timely basis. Now the limitations of the waterfall model. It is not ideal model for a large size project. If the requirement is not clear at the beginning, it is less effective method. It is very difficult to move back to make changes in the previous phase. The testing process starts when the development is over. Hence it has high chances of bug to be found later in development when they are expensive to fix. The limitation of agile model or methodology is it is not useful for small development projects. It requires expert to take the important decisions in the meeting. The project can easily go off the track if the project manager is not clear with what outcome he she wants. Now the comparison of the waterfall model and the agile methodology. Agile model follow the incremental approach where each incremental part is developed through the iteration after every time box. Waterfall model follow the sequential process. Agile model, the measurement of progress is in terms of developed and delivered functionalities. In waterfall model, the measurement of success is in terms of completed and reviewed artifacts. Agile model is flexible as there is possibility of changing the requirement after starting the development process. The waterfall model is rigid as it does not allow to modify the requirement once the development process starts. In agile model, there is high customer interaction because after every iteration an incremental version is deployed to the customer. Here in waterfall, the customer interaction is less because the product is delivered to the customer after the overall development. It has the agile methodology has small team size 
as smaller is the team the fewer people work on it so they can move on faster in the waterfall model the team may consist more members agile method is not suitable for the small project the expenses of developing the small project using agile is more than compared to the other model the waterfall model is well works well in small size project where the requirement are easily understandable but waterfall model does not suit for developing the large projects so here in this session we have learned about what is waterfall model what are the advantages of waterfall model the limitations of waterfall model what is agile methodology the advantages the disadvantages of the agile methodology and the comparison between agile methodology and the waterfall model i hope you all have understood it properly thank you